let's discuss the extra points. Baxi, eight pathogens, and shifting or seams. Locations slightly proximal to the margins of the web between the fingers on the border of the red and white skin. How to find these points are best located when a loose face is made. Locate the points on the border between the red and white. TB2 between the fourth and fifth finger is a point of EX UE9. The points of the EXLE10 buffing are located in comparable position of on the foot proximal to the margins of the webs between the toes. Liber 2, stomach 44, GB 43 are all part of the EXLE10. Needly, up to one tune parallel to the metacarpal bones. Action indication clears heat, expels cold, and damp test. Location on the dorsum of the hand on the webs between the five fingers of both hands. When one hand is made into a fist, three of these points are in the depression between the metacarpal hands proximal to the web margins. The other point is equidistant between the thumb and index metacarpal proximal to the web margins. So here is the illustration of a vaccine. <clears throat> For the action, it relaxes the sinews, expels with dampness. For the indication, numbness, stiffness, redness, swelling, spasm, and pain of the fingers. Painful obstruction syndrome, B syndrome of the fingers. These points are very frequently used for painful obstruction syndrome of the hand and fingers. They eliminate wind and damp and relaxes the tendons. They also move blood in the hand and fingers and are therefore used for chronic atrophy syndrome of the hands. Relaxes the sinews, expels wind, dampness, numbness, stiffness, redness, swelling, spasm, and pain of the fingers. Painful obstruction syndrome, B syndrome of the fingers. These points were first discussed as far as the as far back as the essential questions, which recommended bleeding them for the treatment of malaria. The name Baxi, eight pathogens, however, did not appear until the great compendium of acupuncture and maxibustion. Modern clinical practice, they are almost always used for treating pain, swelling, stiffness, numbness, or spasm on the fingers and surrounding area. For disorders of the ring, middle, and index. Fingers, the points either side of the finger are generally needled. For disorders of the little finger, the point between the little and the ring finger is needled in combination with points such as SI2, SI3. For disorders of the thumb, the point between the thumb and index finger is needled in combination with points such as lung 7 and lung 10. For uh, seams, Location on the palmar aspect of the second to fifth fingers at the midpoint of the transverse crest of the proximal interphalangeal joints. How to find, locate the points on the palmar aspect of the second to fifth fingers at the midpoint of the transverse crest of the proximal interphalangeal joints. Locate in a similar position on the dorsal aspect of the little and middle finger. EXUE6 and EXUE4 respectively. The link prick to bleed. Action indications harmonizes the chi flow between the upper and middle murder. Shifting for crux. Location on the palmar surface in the transverse creases of the proximal interphalangeal joints of the four fingers, including the thumb. Action resolves dampness and foot retention in children. So we have here the illustration, shipping, Shishwan. Indication, childhood nutritional impairment, accumulation disorder in children, food retention, poor digestion, diarrhea. These points are mostly used in young children to promote digestion. The points should be needled 
that a yellow fluid extracted from them. However, they are effective also if they, there is no yellow fluid coming out. It resolves dampness and food retention in children, childhood nutritional impairment, accumulation disorder in children, food retention, poor digestion, diarrhea. Shifting is an important and commonly used point grouping in the treatment of a wide range of childhood digestive disorder. It is indicated for two important patterns known as childhood nutritional impairment. In childhood accumulation disorder, okay, the former refers to childhood nutritional due to a variety of etiologies. Its symptoms include emaciation, salopoplexion, impaired digestion, withered hair, exhaustion, and large abdomen. The latter childhood accumulation disorder more or less corresponds to the pattern of food stagnation in adults and is regarded as a major factor in such, ba such various diseases as constipation, abdominal pain, intestinal parasites, vomiting, diarrhea, cough, and asthma. The deadly method used at, at this point is very specific. The points being pricked and squeezed to express a few drops of clear yellow fluid. 